Eric was leaving. Eric. <laughs> this much was widely known. The news had spread like dramatic jam. Jam, jam. And while many reacted with sorrow or, or perhaps a stoic reserve, there was one jam who hadn't been so happy in years. Now look here, what a wonderful day! Yes, yes, that's right, front yard, fun of jam. Funerals, we get the body in the coffin in the ground on time, and if you want to shop around, you can't! <laughs> <laughs> yes, of course, Mrs. Snollygoster, let me check our diary. Jam. On it. What can we do next week? Any room? No, it's looking quite tricky. It's looking quite tricky, Mrs. Snollygaster. Well, that's what happens when the competition's beaten. These Johnny-come-latelys may seem the ticket, but they can't top a family firm. <laughs> OK, maybe he did for a while, but, you know, not anymore. We could squeeze them in on Tuesday between the Beauregard brothers. I thought they were sharing a funeral. Why? They died in the same jam explosion. That kind of experience creates a bond. Yeah, but they were blown across the island in opposite directions, so we thought we'd bury them where they fell. One's on the golf course, the other's in the mill. What's it doing in the mill? It's ticking halfway through the window. 